all you guys and gals out there in YouTube land, this is your hippy dippy painter man coming at you with another collab between me and Kat. So without further ado, let's get on with part one. So now we're gonna get this same old house pump we used before. Go ahead and put us a big old puddle in the middle. I'm not gonna work real hard at covering this whole thing up this time. Just gonna put a little on the corners like I did when I did the one the other day. So I'll make sure I cut, cover those corners. There we go. And I'm not gonna worry about the rest of it. Just like something new. Yep. All right. Again, we're gonna start off with Kathy's purple. My beautiful purple. I love this color. I'm gonna make us a puddle in the middle of that with it. Alrighty. You know what? There ain't hardly none left there. To heck with it. Might as well put it all on there, get rid of it. And you'll never see it again. Uh, well, that's the way it is. And then we're going to put right on top of that, I'm going to go ahead and put this titanium buff. Mix it up a little bit this time. This titanium buff really is like a super powder light yellow as well. It's like an eggshell color. Let's go ahead and put some of that on there. And it sailed up in this test space a little bit. And then put that on there. And we're ready. And this is going to have some left over in it. I'll have to wrap it up. Then we're going to put some of the gold. Well, this seems a lot thicker. Put a little bit of that on there. Alrighty. And then we're going to put a little bit of this velvet from this little piggy. The velvet, I'm just going to wiggle onto it. The velvet is an interference color, so I really want it to be like streaking throughout. There we go. You know what? I ain't got much of that left either. Huh. Well, I don't want to put too much of it. I'll just go ahead and save it. All right. Last but certainly not least. I'm going to go ahead and put on our cell activator, which is this glorious Amsterdam teal. Turquoise, I'm sorry. And Floetrol, Australian style. Oh, and look at that, it's selling up already. Alrighty. And we're going to let that sit there for a minute or two. Let it settle in, which for us is going to be about four minutes and for you it's going to be almost instantly all right let's go ahead and get my mighty max down again this little hair dryer let's see if we can make this one actually look like a balloon now wouldn't that be cool i'll try it on low at first well it didn't work last time on low so we'll go down all right are we ready here we go Not exactly what I was going for, but pretty darn cool, I think. That's cool spelled K-E-W-L. Cool. Where did I put that strong, baby? Mm -hmm. Oh, I put it back up there. Let me see.
transfer action here see what I can do uh, do you know where the other the little uh, there it is watch me mess this up y'all too crazy with it. I would hit hit my corners with some paint and spin. Yeah, let's do that. Put a little bit of this on there. And I got some down here that's not covered also. Right here. It's a good way to get your corners. Go ahead and grab what's up there and then at least they're covered. All right, does it look like I got paint on all my corners, dear? I missed some right there. See any over there I missed? Not right here, no. Oh, missed some right there. All right, I'm gonna take my little cup I had from the last one, try and get some of this off here, and then we'll spin some more. you're wondering what I'm doing paints don't come cheap and although I do tend to use a little bit much when I do them whatever's excess that I can get a hold of guys I put in another cup and we call that a mud cup because it's all kinds of colors mixed up but when you come to those situations where you need to put a little paint down as a flow extender just so that your when you're tilting your paint will move and not cover itself over, you can use these uh, mud cups as low extenders and not have to waste good paint by mixing up good paint. And sometimes you can use them as background according to how they come out. You know, if this came out like a, a super pretty red or something after I put this in here, I could maybe put some other paint with it and make a background. We'll see. I 
scrape the side out. There's no paint on there, I don't have to worry about it. Somebody, I don't know who. I'm gonna take it around my finger line on this edge right next to it. And sometimes that helps to prevent paint slinging off of me. Alright, here we go. Any yeah, idea where I put that red rag I had over here? I guess I gave it to you, didn't I? Put it there, it looks like green flame, doesn't it? That was I would I would call that a successful transfer right there. And we're gonna get all kinds of cool cells. If you look at right in there, that looks pretty neat. Spinner again, I got an awful lot of paint on there. Leaving too much paint on your canvas, boys and girls, that is a surefire way to get cracks. But I didn't put another four or five ounces of it off, I think. That's what it looks like to me anyway. I'm exaggerating, of course. All right. I need four of those cups. What did I do with those cups? What did I do with all the other? What do we do with a drunken sailor? What do we do with a drunken sailor? What do we do with a drunken sailor? I in the morning. All right. Hold this right there. You get somebody else's help on this stuff, man, it makes it so much easier. I'm gonna have her hold that so that when I lift this up, well, I guess it wants to lift that way. Hold on. Do it this way. When I lift this up, don't lift it up. Sit that down. Sit that down. All you're doing is prevent it from sliding. And then when I put these cups underneath it, it won't slide that way and go right off of it. So, because we got a helper here doing help us out there. Let it come your way a little. All right, we'll put that one over there. And I'm going to cover that side. I'm going to go that way. It ain't going All right, now, just hold this right here. Oh, wait a minute, you don't have to do that. I got it under it. We're good. I didn't think that was going to slide underneath it. I got a little bit of a warped canvas here. It's sitting right up underneath it. <laughs> and up we go. Off we go into the wild blue yonder. The only reason I sang that song briefly is because my father was in the Air Force. I was in the Army. So uh, don't get any funny ideas. That is the Air Force theme song. Alright, we're going to go around here and try and get us some get the edges off. Now the reason we do this, the reason we make sure that it is level to start off with is uh, number one, if it's level, it's not going to pour off one side of it as it's drying. And getting these off the edges of it stops your paint from pouring off an edge. See, if you leave those drips, those drips pull at the paint that is on top and you end up that cute egg blended with the turquoise. It did, and we got a lovely green, it's I like a, it. It's really pretty green. I, I like it too. Teamwork makes the dream work. You see her working on the other side, right? Like and you've heard me say it before, and you'll hear me say it again. The two words that are a secret to a long and happy marriage. Yes, dear. No. What is that now? I've been thinking about myself. I can't remember. Something like a woman swore. Ain't no. Like a woman swore. Ain't no wrath like a woman swore. I think it's very good. I don't know. She ain't willing to help me. She's giving me the stink eye for saying it. Boy, I think it's funny, man. Come on, dude. 
Don't you think that's funny? All right. I would like to say, you may have heard on one, or may or may not have heard on one of my previous videos, I'm not sure which one I set it on, if it was the one I lost or not, but you may or may not have heard that we were going to do a collab that I was invited to go to on the 16th of October. Well, now we're not entirely sure I'm going to have on that day. We may move it to the 23rd, but I will keep you posted. And uh, anyway, you mark it, it's going to be a Halloween collab. I will be in costume, which if no other reason to sign in, to laugh at me would be a great one. <laughs> now y'all don't forget to like and subscribe. If you like what you see, hit that like button. If you find this entertaining, please do subscribe to us because we can probably help them get. We just started out. And the hippie dippy weather man loves each and every one of you. And would like you. Not the weatherman. Oh, did I say weatherman? Good Lord. See, I always say painter man, but uh, I stole that from George Carlin's one. Really, George Carlin did a bit as the hippy dippy weatherman. So, so every now and then I'll mess up and say weatherman, but the hippy dippy painter man would like y'all to join his family on YouTube. All right. I think we just about got it there. I'm going to continue going around this and getting the drops, but there's no sense in keeping you folks occupied that long. So until we meet again, same bad time, same bad channel, this is your hippie, hippie, painter man, sign off.